Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to reverse park in an SUV. In this video, I'll be going over the basic steps for reverse parking while driving an SUV. I'll be demonstrating it in this 2017 Honda CRV. This is my vehicle, and I'll be demonstrating it here in this relatively empty parking lot. The first thing that you want to do is you want to choose the parking spot. So I'm going to just pick one of these parking spots on the left. Once you've chosen the parking spot, you want to pull up perpendicular to the parking spot, and you want to come to a complete stop when your shoulder is right in the middle of the parking spot I'm gonna put the car in drive we will release the parking brake and we're gonna pull up like I said uh, alongside the parking spot over here and we're gonna come to a complete stop when my shoulder is lined up with the center of the parking spot now you can see right here that I've actually pulled up uh, on the side of this laneway closest to the parking spot so you're obviously gonna want to do this when there's no traffic or not much traffic you don't want to pull up this close sort of driving on the wrong side of the laneway uh, if there's a lot of cars you only want to do this when it's safe to do so and when you're not going to obstruct any traffic so this is the parking spot that I've chosen right over there my shoulder is basically right over here right in the center of the parking spot I've come to a complete stop now what I want to do is take the steering wheel turn it all the way away from the parking spot so the parking spots here on my left I'm gonna turn the steering wheel all the way to the right let's turn the steering wheel all the way to the right the car is in drive and I'm gonna move forward until I get to about a 45 degree angle and as you can see I have held the steering wheel here all the way to the right so I'm gonna go just a little bit further forward now if you take a look right over here that spot right there that's the parking spot that I want to park in. So I've come to a complete stop. That's the parking spot, okay? Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the car in reverse. There are a whole bunch of features like a reverse camera and so forth, but I'm not going to be using those because, you know, if you don't have those features, I want to teach you how to do it without those features. So now once you're in reverse, you want to take the steering wheel, turn it all the way to the other direction. So I'm turning it all the way to the left. You can see this is full lock to the left on this car right here okay so I've turned it all the way to the other direction that I had originally turned it to I originally turned it to the right to start this now I'm turning it all the way to the left okay now I'm gonna reverse in and I'm gonna continually turn my head around and look in my mirrors and the key is that I want to use this mirror and that mirror to figure out when I should start turning my steering wheel back. Now I always say to start off by turning your steering wheel all the way because it's easier to release it and sort of and sort of reduce the steering than it is to steer more because you can't go further than this. So start off turning it all the way and then you can release it as needed. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start reversing and I'm looking around with my head as well as in the mirrors, but I'm just gonna keep the camera on this, mirror, on this mirror right here until you can see the parking spot in the other mirror. So as you can see right here, you can see the back end of my car is making its way into the spot. Now I can see that if I keep my wheel turned this much, then I'm gonna get a little bit too close to this line right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my steering wheel back a little bit, just a bit, and continue reversing in. Just like that, as you can see right there. Now, if you look in this mirror over here, you can see there's the rest of the spot. So I'm gonna turn my steering wheel back just a little bit more now to reduce the angle of the turn. I'm gonna keep moving back just like that. And as you can see, I, I see that part of the line right there. And if you look over here, I see that part of the line. So we're just gonna keep making our way in. And now once my vehicle is straight in the spot right now my vehicle is straight in the parking spot you can see my side of my car compared to that line and the side of my car compared to that line the vehicle is now straight in the parking spot what i'm going to do is i'm now going to straighten out the steering wheel so i've now straightened out the steering wheel and i'm sorry about that now i've straightened out the steering wheel and i'm going backwards and then obviously you're going to stop when you think that it's necessary uh, but i'm just going to stop right here and I'm just going to open the door to show you that I've pretty much parked in the center, as you can see right there. And you can see that my car is relatively straight with regards to the parking spot. Very, very simple. Let's actually get out and just give you a quick view of what it looks like. So as you can see, the vehicle is relatively centered in the parking spot, parked nice and straight, parallel with the lines. And that's basically it. 
That is how to park, how to reverse park, I should say, an SUV. It's a very simple process and I've outlined the process with you in this video with this step-by-step -step tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.